Hey, what's up everybody in the VC? It's uh, Jason again, uh, doing another video. Um, I'm a little late actually to the party on this one, but I still wanted to uh, do my submission for this challenge because it's been a lot of work actually digging into my collection. Uh, it's a challenge for looking up basically as many records as you can find by as many artists from around the world to see how many countries you can get. And this was originally posted, I guess, back in January uh, from uh, Merciful Metal channel. So Merciful Metal had put out a VC challenge and actually it was a contest to find as many albums uh, and artists you can find around the world. And I think he found 36, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in total. So that was kind of the challenge to see if you can find at least that many, if not more. Um, then he ran a, cont a contest and it ended uh, just last week. So I've missed the contest, but I'm still going to do the submission anyway, because I think there's a lot of cool records, CDs, uh, tapes, and seven inches that I'm going to uh, show here. Um, I was amazed actually uh, just looking at my collection. Uh, I'm still kind of a little ticked because I can't find a couple of them that would have boosted my numbers up to 38 in total, but I have 36 to show. So um, I could not for the life of me locate my Portuguese records. Uh, there were at least two techno records, uh, experimental techno uh, artists from Portugal that I have somewhere I can't find. Uh, and I couldn't find uh, my Chilean submission as well. Uh, I had a black thresh, black metal uh, album from Chile, uh, artist from Chile that uh, I think is probably in my storage locker actually. So, so that being said, I'm going to go with 36. Could I had 38? Maybe I could add more if I looked even deeper, but I've already spent days literally on this, <laughs> on this challenge. Uh, it is a fun one though. I encourage everybody to try and do it, especially if you have a large collection like mine. I'm going to show, um, I'm going to go by format for this 36. Uh, I'm going to show eight, seven inches, start off with sevens. Then I'm going to go to, what is it, like about four, six tapes. And then the rest are going to be LPs or 12 inches. So I'm going to kick it off with Jolly Old England. And one of my favorite seven inches right now. I'm totally loving this band. Necra, they're called. Uh, Royal Disruptor. Uh, All-female, hardcore punk band. Um, very much current and active on the uh, La Vida S label out of the UK. Great punk label. I actually have a tape by them as well. Same label. So Necra is the first country. That's number one, England. Then I'm going to go to Italy. I don't have these totally organized in terms of continents, but somewhat. Uh, but and then I also messed it up because I put it by format. So number two, going with Cobra from Italy, another hardcore band. Uh, actually, I could show a tape as well for that uh, on my label, Religious Order. Um, sorry for the glare. This is a tape called New Democracy we put out on Low Noise Productions a couple years ago. He's a really good experimental techno or synth artist. So Religious Order or Cobra for Italy. Uh, Spain, loads of techno from Spain that I could have chose, but I decided to go with a seven. Uh, this is a split seven between uh, Aiken and uh, another artist, I think Ben something. Uh, Let's see on here. Ben Gibson. So Aiken and Ben Gibson. But Aiken is the techno artist out of Spain. This is on a Brooklyn uh, label called Chronicle. The 7 inch came out in 2014. I do have some Aiken on uh, the non label and some other techno labels as well. So that's from Spain. Now from Hungary, uh, we've got some harsh noise grind. Um, this is a split. 7 inch with Horse Nation, who's also from France, but I've got a, a bigger record, I think, for them for the French uh, submission. But this 7 inch is pretty unlegible. But Chapai, uh, C H A P P A, possibly A I, uh, is from Hungary, and uh, they're a harsh noise grind band, seeming from 2009 to 2018. And this 7-inch, I think, came out in 2016. 
It's a split with Horse Nation. From Austria, number five. Uh, I had to dig deep on this. I went with a compilation. Uh, and this band here, TBC What, is uh, this is a 1990s compilation from France. Hardcore punk, of course. And a bunch of cool artists on here. But TBC What is a Austrian hardcore band from the 90s. Not sure if they're still going or not. Uh, number six, New Zealand. Had a few ideas for New Zealand, but I ended up going with this. One third octave band. It's called, let's take it out of the sleeve. Maybe it's a bit better. It's a cool little seven. Um, came out in 2000 and uh, just black label. It's basically experimental ambient sounds from the artist One Third Octave Band out of New Zealand. Uh, sticking around that uh, continent, we're going with Australia next and Riot System. This is a pretty recent pickup for me. It's a 1990s um, hardcore 7-inch. Uh, at least the music on here is from the 90s. Uh, includes two recordings, both live, I guess one in Sweden and one in the UK. And uh, one side is really pretty lo-fi hard to listen to even for a noise fan but uh, the other side kicks butt pretty much so riot system uh hardcore 90s hardcore band from australia they seem to only have that one seven inch release and uh, rounding out the sevens number eight i got from malaysia a group called compulsion to kill and this is a grindcore split seven with another band uh grinch finger i guess uh, compilation, Compulsion to Kill, and I'm not sure what the name of the other band is, to be honest. Um, but yeah, looks like I paid five bucks for this, and that's five dollars well spent because it actually enabled me to have a submission from Malaysia. I think I have a Malaysian uh, death metal tape as well, but I'm going to go with this band, Compulsion to Kill, for that submission. Now, speaking of tapes, onto the tapes, I thought for Scotland, I'd go with some death metal. And uh, it's actually a one-man band, and he's on this compilation. Uh, this compilation features Acid Cross, Krieg, and a Scottish band called Hell Ripper. Uh, so inside, they have pictures of everybody, and this looks like our little um, Hell Ripper right there. One-man uh, Scottish death metal band uh on this compilation tape so from 2015 that's scotland for you and hell ripper from greece uh has amazing techno scene for a lot of uh underground stuff i just released a greece or a greek artist on my low noise label called mr clarinet could have showed that tape but i decided to go with this band who is called uh o and no and o n no one O N. A really creepy kind of old school picture on the cover. Uh, and this is on OSM uh, tapes. So opioid slot machine, really cool label out of Thessaloniki. I got to meet uh, the OSM guy uh, a couple years ago when we were over in Greece. So really happy uh, we got to connect. That's a cool tape label. Does a lot of productions as OSM. Uh, but this band, I'm not really familiar with this producer, No slash ON. Really cool experimental techno, kind of industrial heavy stuff. That's for Greece. Uh, Morocco, another tape. This is one that we did put out. Um, it's the only Moroccan thing I have. Uh, it's really harsh techno, industrial, uh, dungeon synth, I would almost call it. Artist is called Ritual. Very hard to read from the uh, cool uh, logo that we got made. But this is a 2017 release. Uh, not many other releases from this artist. Uh, it might have been kind of a side project for him, I think. So that's on low noise on my label. And not many of these cassettes left, actually. I think we made about 50 of them in total. Uh, this came out in 2017. Ritual from Morocco. Uh, also from the Middle East, Iran, well, I put this out as well, Golban Moltoji, amazing artist, new artist, 
she was living in Ottawa for a while, so we got to meet, and she's been developing her production style uh, into a lot of techno, dark techno. Uh, this is kind of a more experimental techno uh, EP called Eker, and we just put this out last year in 2020. So, again, sorry about all the glaze, but Golban Multoji on Low Noise Productions cassette from Iran. South Korea, not on my label. Uh, but a cassette, nonetheless, Hong Chulki plus Aaron Dillaway. It's a split cassette. Um, uh, let's see what label this is on. Idiopathic. This came out in 2013. Uh, yeah, recorded live. Uh, looks like it was a live show, I guess. Recorded live in uh, Ohio. I'm familiar with uh, Aaron Dillaway. I have some uh, records by him. Does a lot of experimental stuff. And then this artist as well, Hong Chulki from South Korea. Got some South Korean punk on the, on the way, actually, um, that I ordered recently. Uh, moving around Asia, we've got Japan next. This is also a recent tape. I tried to pick some like fairly recent stuff in my collection for all these different countries. Could have picked lots of Japanese artists. Probably have mm, 30 or so in my collection, I would say. Um, not as many as the U.S. or U.K., obviously, but they would, Japan would probably be up in the top 10 of, uh, artists, maybe top 15. This is an artist, Kazuma, uh, Kubota, and the, uh, EP is called Mind. And this is on Opal Tapes of the U.K., which is a great, uh, underground experimental tape label. You may have some vinyl, too. So it's experimental techno. I actually included a, this a, this tape, I think, in my top picks for 2020. Um, it was a 2020 release, and that's Japan. Finally, for tapes, at number 15 overall, uh, I found my Indonesian tape. I was actually digging. I only found this this morning in a box deep in, buried in the back of the closet. Uh, band's called uh, Contradixi. Contradixie, Contradixie, and the album is great, great uh, title, Shit Leader EP. wonder if they're thinking of Trump on that one, but yeah. <laughs> it's a hardcore tape from 2019, uh, and it's from the No Name Distro uh, from the Ukraine. I actually did a tape trade with this distro company a couple years back, I guess in 2019, and got some amazing punk tapes. Had to dig out some of them still from uh, from the box. So I haven't really listened to this one yet, but I'm kind of anxious to get into it for sure. Shit Leader EP. My Contradic Dixie. Contradixie from Indonesia. Almost didn't make my list. Almost couldn't locate it. Now for LPs, uh, let's get this started. I'm at 16 and we're about halfway to go. Start off in the US, Special Interest. This is a really cool pan, uh, band, punk, noisy synth out of uh, New Orleans. And uh, the album's called Spiraling. It's on Raw Sugar, which is also a New Orleans US label. Uh, originally, they released this on Boy Harsher's cassette label or on his label as a cassette. They got reissued on their own label, I guess, from uh, New Orleans. Got to see these guys live. They opened up for Boy Harsher. In Santa Cruz, uh, we just happened to be there randomly, and uh, one a couple summers ago, and got to see these this act uh, open up for Boy Harsher. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I definitely recommend if you like uh, your synth punk, uh, no wave, turned up real loud. Definitely check out this album, Special Interest. That's that's U.S. pick for a Canadian pick. I went with these guys, Six Brew Bantha. This is an amazing gatefold of grind death, crust band. I guess they're more grind than crust because um, they're very technical, actually. Super technical. Saw these guys perform locally at a bookstore in Ottawa uh, before the pandemic a couple of years ago and loved their set. It was insane. Basically, they did, I think, like an entire half an album for 15 minutes took a break and then they did the other half of the album for 15 minutes and it was just full-on intensity they're only a three-piece 
the drums are amazingly technical. Uh, the starts and stops, the different tempo changes, it's up there with jazz drumming for sure. Six Brew Bantha, and this album's called Blight. They have a few releases, and they're out of Victoria, BC, Canada. So I had quite a bit of grind, uh, grindcore in this list, along with hardcore punk, metal, techno, of course, electronic. Uh, next one from France, I mentioned them earlier, Horse Nation. This is another uh, grindcore band formed in 2009. I think I picked this up at a show somewhere in Montreal. Uh, I don't know if they were performing or not. Maybe they were all the way from France. So very cool uh, grindcore record on the extreme side of music. If you're into noise, you probably dig this as well. Um, I guess this is a 2010 EP or album, Scum Will Rain. So that's France. Now, still on the grind tip, going over to Poland, Suffering Mind. I mean, I almost buy these just from the covers alone. You can tell it's going to be amazing punk, crust, or grind core. Um, this is a band from 2000, since going on since 2008. There's a poster in here too. Some of the song titles in Polish, I think. Suffering Mind. That's my Polish submission. Um, now, something a little bit opposite of Grind and much more on the minimal and sleek mode from Finland. I'm going with Vladislav Delay. You can see down there. Uh, this was a great album that he put out in the 2000s, early 2000s, Anima. Or Amina, sorry. No, Anima. Depends on how I'm reading today. Um, this is on the Mill Plateau Force Inc. Uh, excellent label for minimal IDM back in the 2000s. It's a double or triple pack, I think. Vladislav Dile. I actually have a... I just ordered a recent CD from him as well. Uh, well, more recent anyway. 2011 from Vladislav Dile on uh, Raster Norton. He also records as Lumo. Uh, his real name is Sasu Ripati, and I highly recommend anybody who's into something kind of cool, electronic, very minimal, um, minimal sounds, very digital as well. Uh, Vladislav Dile for Finland. Uh, Romania, dropping down a little, a little bit in Europe. There, this this one I've showed a couple times, a couple videos now. Borisaid on a dark entries out of San Francisco. Good new wave post-punk synth pop record. Came out in 2020. I had it on my 2020 best of list as well. So Romanian artist Borside. Norway, back up north and Emperor. It's a little Norwegian black metal. Black metal or death metal? Black metal, I think, right? The pictures. Uh, great album, Emperor. This is a classic from the 90s, I guess. It's a reissue. Reissued in 2017. Uh, next up, we got Switzerland. Uh, didn't pick Celtic Frost, uh, although that would have been the obvious pick for Switzerland, but I ended up going with these guys, the Young Gods, which is some uh, heavy industrial... Uh, sounds from the 80s and 90s, or from the mid to late 80s, I guess. This is from 87. This is the Did You Miss Me and the Erdem Boys single. I think it's on a Belgian label. Uh, nope, the label, I think, is also from Zurich. So the Young Gods from Switzerland. Excellent classic band for industrial. Uh, this one... Um, I am going to kind of cheat. I'm also jumping around the, the globe here, but I'm going to kind of cheat on this one as my Chinese submission. The artist is not Chinese, but he lives in China now for a number of years. Uh, and, but he, and he's originally from Malaysia. Su Sing as the artist. A uh, huge fan of this guy. He's been putting out stuff for the last few years. Very industrial, old sort of old style industrial EBM techno um, this is a great EP it's like seven seven tracks on the lies label that I'm a big fan of and um, yeah Su Sing 
He is living in, um, it says online, he's living in, between Shanghai and Taipei, back and forth, and producing music. So I'm going to include this as my China submission. I haven't seen, I've seen a bunch of people do this video, and I haven't seen too many uh, ones with artists from China in their, in their list. So from China, we're going back up to Europe for Germany. I decided to go with a female techno artist, Helena Huff. Uh, this is on a, I believe, a Switzerland label uh, called Lux Rex Records, uh, 2014 release by her. She's still producing some great techno. In fact, this is another one that she did um, a, as a duo with another artist called FX, who is also from Germany, uh, from Hamburg, I think, Helena Huff is from. This one is under Black Sights, That's the artist name for this project. But yeah, Lana Huff, good, hard, almost industrial style techno for the most part from Hamburg, Germany. Um, Serbia, techno artist also for Serbia named Leg. Yeah, I don't know if you want to be able to see with all that glare, but let's take it out of the uh, LAG Lag. This is a single he put out on Mord, uh, which is a label out of the Netherlands. Uh, EP is called Fiend. I've got a couple of things by Leg. He's a Serbian uh, producer and DJ. Probably based at this point in Berlin where everybody else is, but uh, his real name is Milos uh, Martinov and from Serbia. Uh, now from Belgium, gotta go with the classic guys, Front 242. Um, part inventors of the Belgian beat, I guess, new beat. Uh, that sound of sort of pre-techno, that in-between phase between sort of industrial, electric body music, electronic body music, EBM, and techno. Uh, great period of the early 90s, and a great band, Front 242. I've got a lot of their EPs and albums, so I pulled this one out. This is Front by Front album. And uh, it's a Canadian pressing on this one, but I do have a lot of singles from them on their Belgian labels. Uh, next from the Middle East, Israel. TVOT, or sorry, TV Out. Uh, Dust Till Dawn. This is a great release. Just came out uh, recently as well on Dark Entries from San Fran. It's a six track EP from Tel Aviv duo who are more at ease with classic Frankfurt style new beat. Uh, and lower BP, BPM EBM and Hag style electro. So you've got a you've got a bunch of, of styles on there from electro to EBM and industrial TV out. Check them out. They're from uh, Tel Aviv, Israel. Um, almost lost my screen in the back. What else we got next? Next up, also from the Middle East, I think. Yeah, from Algeria. And the Rye Sound. This one's on a compilation. This is a Factory Records compilation. A really cool compilation called Fact Dance 02. I guess there was an 01 maybe. Uh, put out on Strut. Not on Factory. All kinds of new wave, no wave, um, dance punk bands from the 80s. A certain ratio, etc. That were released through Factory. Uh, including this one here, um, Nezel Fik is the name of the song, and it's Fidela. So Fidela is a duo, it's actually a husband and wife duo, I think, uh, in the Rai, doing the Rai sound, R-A-I, from Algeria. It's Chaba Fidela and Cheb uh, Sahari, a uh, husband-wife duo, looks like, and... Um, this was released uh, as a single on Factory Records, I think, in the 80s, 90s, I guess. And then included on this compilation. It's a really cool song, actually. Middle Eastern vocals, um, kind of a funky beat, but a different uh, tempo scale, perhaps. Nacelle Fique by Fidela. So it's one of the few that's on a compilation that I had to dig deep for Algeria. Uh, rounding out, so that's number 29. We got six more to go. Um, number 30, I'm going with uh, an artist from Bosnia. 
So former Yugoslavia, Sevda. Uh, Sevda is not based in Bosnia anymore. Uh, he's an expat, uh, but Serjovo born, I believe, uh, and he runs his label. He runs this label actually uh, called Proletariat. Really cool, hard hitting, dark techno. Uh, Proletariat out of um, Sweden. But uh, definitely a Bosnian connection as he's from there. And a lot of his um, his imagery, et cetera, on the releases are kind of for the Yugoslavian uh, resistance movement. So a bit of a political uh, overtone to Sebda. Good hard techno. Check it out. Techno with, a, with an edge. Um, what else? Where are we now? Okay, 31 Slovakia. Uh, two artists on this. This is a compilation, a techno compilation EP. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in really small print. Two of the artists of four on here are from Slovakia. I think the, the label itself is called Pala, Palika von Vreka. Palika von Vreka? Uh, it's the label, and it's from Slovakia as well. So the artist is Olga and Joseph, has a song on here, and Kray, K-R-E, is also a Slovakian artist. So I'll look those up, and we have a winner. It's actually, it's a really good EP. Um, it's from 2000s, but it's still sounding good today. I think, is this on clear vinyl? No, it's not the clear vinyl one, but... It's a very cool EP, nonetheless. Four artists, two from Slovakia. Uh, going back up to Sweden, I should have did Norway, Sweden all together, but I didn't, so it's all spread out. Um, Sweden, I have this guy, Varg. Now, uh, this artist, Varg, poor Varg, has had to change his name recently in 2019. He is now Varg2TM, trademarked. Uh, smart man because he got sued i guess from another band called varg from germany a metal band um and this guy looks a little bit metal actually if you look him up but he is uh, more on the sleek electronic and ambient sounds experimental electronic and uh from sweden uh, this is 2019 actually varg a v-a-r-g actually i think translates as wolf so that's sweden uh, Denmark. Going with Puss Mary. This is a great album. It came out a couple years ago on Posh Isolation, which I think is also a, a Danish um, experimental label. So this is sort of experimental and industrial. It's, it's dark and heavy at times. And she also uh, records with other artists sometimes uh, in other collaborations. So this is actually, it says recorded from 2014 and 2015. Uh, the Spiral is the name of this album. Oh, bye. Who's Mary? I almost dropped it. Oof, getting tired from this 30-minute video. Let's see if we can wrap it up here. Uh, we got Sweden. We got Denmark. Next, I got Ireland. Then Lizzie. There's one everybody knows. Jailbreak. What a classic, classic album. This is the reish. I love this insert as well great uh, pre-metal hard rock from thin lizzy from ireland and um holland dutch i'm gonna go with drug culture d-r-v-g-c-v-l-t-v-r-e is how he spells it it's vincent corman he's from tilburg netherlands and uh, Drug Culture, this is one EP that I have, I have quite a few EPs from Drug Culture. I love his stuff. It's really heavy techno, heavy on the industrial side, acid as well. I actually did get to see him, I think, once, DJ over in uh, Germany uh, on a trip once. But uh, Drug Culture is my submission for the Netherlands or from Holland. And finally, last but not least, I almost didn't include this one because I was having a hard time locating it. Just found this one this morning, despite not finding the other two. Never did find Portugal or Chile. Uh, but I did find Ukraine. So, a Ukrainian kind of deep house producer. 
Uh, this is the, the EP. He has a few white on the back. Uh, Bakula, V A K U L A. Uh, this is the EP called Dub is Always EP, and it's clear vinyl. Came out in 2011 on the Shevchenko uh, label, which I think is actually just a UK label. But nevertheless, uh, Ukraine artist named uh, Vakula to round out 36. I could have had 38, but I had to finish this damn challenge chore. And it's been quite a journey. I learned a lot about my collection. Um, big surprise takeaway for me was that despite how international dance music is, uh, electronic music is, house and techno, I actually had, um, in some ways, I had a broader reach or more countries from, say, grind, core, and hardcore punk to choose from. Um, so that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, it was surprising getting, like, finding two or three artists from Israel, two or three artists from Malaysia, Indonesia. Those are pretty rare. Iran, very rare, obviously. And Morocco, I had to go to my own label for those two um, in my collection. Hung Hungary is also, Slovakia, um, Serbia. Some pretty uh, rare finds for my, uh, my collection. Of course, US, Canada, UK, Germany. Uh, that's probably... I would estimate 70% of my collection easily, easily, maybe 80% of the collection. And then you get down into, you know, your Belgium and Japan and, um, well, it's a lot from Spain, Italy, you know, a lot of the European countries, um, Holland. Never could find the Portuguese records, and maybe if I do, I'll just put them on here. I know two of them are on the same label, actually, a Portuguese label called Eye for an Eye Recordings. But nevertheless, there's my 36 picks from around the world. I'm going to post the links to some of these artists down in, down below if anybody wants to check them out. You had a broad range there from industrial, electronic, techno, uh, synth, grindcore, crust, punk, hardcore, um, even a little hard rock from Thin Lizzy in there too from Ireland. So that's it for me. See you guys on the next one.